Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing? I'm Lionheart. I am Dark Garo! And we are the Apex. 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 Apex! Damn, well, you blew in their ears if they were in headphones, because that was close range. <laughs> Be careful with my headset, okay? In the meantime, we're here to watch a new episode of Viral Hit! What the? And like like our boy Hobbin and Snapper and our and our new editor the new editor they got the old their, lady their content well young girl with an old soul <clears throat> content creators making content of our young Hobbin fighting bullies and trying to get a you know get the ratings on for that now we've been tortured already being introduced to Tai Hoon. Um, we've also seen the fact that he trained himself in the last episode and set the challenge and we got a little tease of what's about to happen. But this is where we're seeing the real fight episode. No more of this training montage, no more leading it up and everything. We're finally getting the episode and I've been waiting a whole week for this. He knows how impatient I've been because like I hold myself off from watching this. We see these things on Tuesday. Mind you, the episode's on a Wednesday. So we have to wait a whole freaking week for that. He's impatient. I'm patient. Yeah, but at least I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, when I say this, I'm not saying this on you. But I'm not cheating, though. I'm not watching the episode. I play fully faithful and I watch Luckily anything else. Luckily, you know that I have so much episode to watch that I have to postpone all the other ones. Oh, well, true. You watch other things, so it's like it helps you keep distracted. I mean, plus there's also live shows, too, to watch as well, so that's another factor. We have scheduled shows that we watch, so we tell each other. We're gonna hold it up because we want to make content for you guys. When we watch this, this this has to be new. We gotta be like newborn babies watching this for the first time. <laughs> now, can we comment something about this fight? Given the fact that um, Hobbin has water shoes, he applied water into a small section in a bathroom, given limitations to where he can go because he wanted to change the environment because he could not get a rainy day. So he decided to make get a hose and wet the entire thing. And plus, with water shoes, you make it heavy when you kick someone, it hurt more. And you won't slip either. <sighs> but I, but we got to remember this, okay, that Taihoon is a pro. He's not like Bako. Bako was just a, a thug. True. But this dude is a straight-up professional MMA fighter. and But I, even though he's a professional, I believe he knows how to do street fight. So become as no, a street fighter, MMA fighter. No, no, no. What they called combat taekwondo, as they, they specifically said. Remember... Taekwondo, you follow a rule when you compete. Yeah, but he's Street but he's a Taekwondo, you don't follow no rule. Exactly, but I'm <laughs> saying I feel like you know, given the water, that's not going to be enough to stop Taekwon. True. Uh, because remember, he used his hand to smack. True. Him. So not everything. We know that he doesn't just rely on his feet. He can use his hands as well, which is also a dangerous factor. So, um, I've been thinking about this a lot because last episode I didn't have any real input into this conversation to think what can Hobbin do to take advantage of that okay now possibility this is my thought okay this is coming from my perspective okay. my perspective um we know that he changed he he strengthened up his grips by holding himself up mm -hmm. he worked on abs because he was trying to get a core or mm -hmm. train his body to handle kicks because you have to your body has to be strong in order to handle being kicked by someone with tech one just in general who, who uses their legs like that so theory theory um you would have to like he's gonna have to get close range and go in because he doesn't have Hobbin doesn't have the distance with his legs like like Tyhoon. Tyhoon has more leg reach than he does. So the only possibility is that he has to think of a way to take him down. He has to take him down. Well, the, the only possibility, if he learned it in real life, is a secret technique. Well, let's see if we're thinking the same. But tell me, if you hit in the ankle, you knock them out. It's a secret taekwondo. I think it was I think it was taekwondo technique or karate. That if you hit them like a little tuck right here and searching around your knee, they will gonna get knocked out. Well, yeah, I've heard of techniques where it's like if you put, if you were to kick or do get your feet close to the back of the ankle and do a sweep, given the fact that his feet cannot handle the water. No, that technique meaning you pass out. Yeah, but that's a little bit of a too much, and you gotta keep getting in close. While Tyhoon has his hands and he has speed, so he can be able to smack them. Hit him, punch him. Sure. So, but we're we're thinking about this as commentators, okay, and reactors. Personally, in my, I'm gonna say my what my thoughts are, and then you say your thoughts. What he should do, okay? You want to go with that? All right. Okay. This is my thoughts as someone. If I as a fighter, 
because he's a martial artist, I'm a martial artist, so but we have different styles how we do things. So my personal opinion and given what Hobbin did, I would think try to get away to um disorient d- disorient disor how do you say it again? Dis- disorient. Disorient your ancient. Basically, get the advantage, and I, since I can't say the freaking word because I'm tongue-tied and I'm thinking too much. Basically, if he does one of those low leg kicks, he gets in on a close range. Then I'm thinking, uh, grab, do a grab and do a takedown. Now, the thing is, he screwed up when he did takedowns before against Paco because he didn't do it correctly. But if he, if the lessons, if those lessons from the rooster taught him anything... When you, as a wrestler and a jiu-jitsu fighter, when you grab the legs, you got to make sure to grab the back of the knee. Because if you grab the back of the knee, you use your shoulder to pivot right around where his hip bone is right here. And then you apply pressure and you push. And because he has water on the floor, he'll take him down. If he can do that, he could either mount to punch him or he can mount to, um, uh, well, I would have said lapel choke, but given that there weren't clothes, I would say grab him by the collar right here and then do his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I don't know if they taught him this. I don't know if the rooster taught him this, but I'm saying as me, in me, I get close range, I take him down because there's small space limitations. I either try to mount to punch him or I try to get him in a, in a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu choke. Uh, preferably um, either by arm triangle choke or collar choke. If my if I'm in the mount position, that's that's my only theory because striking I don't if I'm hopping I don't have a chance in the striking position. All I have is the low kick and that's not going to be enough. And the overhand hand the overhand fist is a risk because you're putting it wide. You're going in this position, but he could still punch and smack you sideways from the exposed area. And sure. Hobbin isn't the type of person who thinks to do this. Depend If he has his left hand and he's using his right hand, he has to block. But Hobbin hasn't done that because his hands are always down. Sure. So that, just from my knowledge as a fighter, that is probably what I would do that I would hope Hobbin would do. But then again, my theory could be wrong and I can end up losing, depending on Taihun because he's a professional. I'm going to go to my co-host. He'll tell what his game plan would have been in his case. Well, I would low kick, then punch him on the rim. Low kick, move back, punch him on the rim. And then grab, put him on the ground, arm bar. Like you say, triangle, everything. But if you find a way, push him. And then just go behind him and grab him. And make sure his leg goes down so he doesn't get up. Just hold hold until he pass out. Okay, so you and me agree on one, <laughs> that... Takedown for grappling and then uh, transition got, to a you submission. Got the water, you got the water there. That means that's an advantage. You're making his body slippery and wet. So you could actually grab him. If even he lift you up and try to slam you on the wall, you could actually use your leg to push him, push him forward and make him slam his body on the floor. That is very true. <laughs> Depending what submission he does. And don't think that because Hobbin and Taihun have different body masses, that don't mean anything. We've seen the case, the legendary case of the, the oh my God, the Gracie family, okay? We've seen Hoist Gracie when he went into the Ultimate Fighter Championship when there was no weight limitations and he would beat people. He became a three-time champion and won through using Brazilian Mm Jiu-Jitsu. So as someone who does Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I feel like in this case, even though it's going to be hard and he's going to try to create distance, I feel like that's the only way. He has to make him tap out or make him go to sleep. That's my only up. Because the knockout power is not going to... I don't think that's going to be a factor. Nope. Striking may count to get in if you want to Unless get in. If you punch them certain here, you can actually knock them out or this this uh, make them confused because as a boxer, certain area around the face, once you hit them, they're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, even but, MMA fighter go, "What the?" Yeah, but <laughs> Haben is not Makan- Makanochi Ipo. He's I not know. that. So for and first of all, a boxer couldn't get inside. You would have to be super fast, super swift to get into a kickboxer's range. The only reason you would have an advantage if you were a boxer and you were fighting him in that is because you got the water shoes on. Yep. That's the only way you can get in and just be like... <sighs> but that's this is not the case. Hobbit is not a boxer. He doesn't specialize in boxing. But we both Let's agree. Let's see. Let's see what will happen. We appreciate that you guys hear us out. We just want to say our theories and predictions and commentary what we think before this fight. Because this is, this is really nerve-wracking. And because we're at episode 8... The they can do this thing where he can lose the channel and try to fight back to gain the channel, or he can win against Tycoon. There's so many possibilities. 
I don't want it to be the, what I just said, that he loses. I don't want him to lose. Oh, God, my heart is racing right now. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Come on, Hobbin. It's different. It's not the same. Oh. Oh, damn it. I didn't think about that. I see what he's doing. <laughs> Kind of like when you're on a bus when you're riding, you're trying to not to fall, so you gotta plant your feet correctly from falling. That's the horse style. Oh, he counterpunched. He really shouting? I thought that was a mental thing. That's no, stupid. Why the fuck would you shout your move? Yes! Yes! What did I say? Get the close range and get the... Come, come, come on, do this right. Do this right. See? See? Jiu-Jitsu wrestler. I know my shit. You grab the back of the knee and you pull it. Yes! Uh, bitch! Double leg tackle. And the fact that he fell on the floor, he's going to feel that in his head. Jiu-Jitsu. It's Jiu-Jitsu. Yes! That's the technique I was talking about. Collar choke. Slit it. Come on, bro. Crush has a slit his throat. Come on. Oh, no. You're supposed to mount him in that position. Oh my god. Because he did it wrong. Yeah, you're supposed to mount him in the position when you do that. <sighs> Come on. <sighs> Damn it. That's exactly right. Oh. He took off the shoes. <laughs> That's not good. Is what? Oh. Oh fuck. Bro, this is this is killing me, man. This is killing me. Why are they doing this to me? I don't know, but I'm, I'm watching. I'm getting. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting too hyped up. Sorry. Oh come on, girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> come on, Hobbin, get up. What will you do after this if you fail? What, in that position? Mm -hmm. I gotta adapt, I gotta do what I gotta do to get him down. He only has one leg. Did he say, I spat out my drink? I didn't even see that, I'm like so... That's true, he's strongest on his right side. That means he's using his left side. So by that chance, if he do that, I grab his leg and pull forward. Yeah. I, oh. He hit yeah, me. Yeah. No. As a wrestler, I, grab, I can grab him and take him down with a, tr especially put on my shoulder and, and lift it up. Yeah. That's. But he's not. He doesn't have the height to do that, though. Doesn't matter. Oh. Jesus, he could have broken the toes. Oh. No, no, Hobbin, no, 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 no.
Please don't fucking lose. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. How bad? You gotta get that willpower, man. Get that second win. Do not lose to this prick. Come on, come on, brother. Cliffhanger. He's limiting it. He's doing it in a toilet stall. He won't be able to reach if he can't kick right. Think about it. If you get him close range in a bathroom, he can't kick. It limits him. Yeah. I'm hitting that notification and subscribe button for you, Hobbin. Win this fight. Kick him on the ball. Nah, bro, that's too close. Son of a bitch! Yes! Uh, mouth the fucking. Mouth him and choke his ass out. Dude, go! That's a baseball choke. That's a baseball choke. What'd I say? Baseball choke, bitch! <laughs> Shit. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm, yeah, I'm, okay. yo. I did, I'm already hyped up, man. Don't fuck this move. I wonder who will win the fight. You, you betrayed me. Yes! 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 Choke that motherfucker up, man! That's, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Holy shit, he's losing to the same move he did! He's like, stop me! Let him go already! Oh no, he's excited right now. He's not thinking that. Nah, nah, don't let him go. Don't let him go. Don't let him go. Don't let him go. Exactly, it's a street fight. Nah, don't tell him to stop. He passed out. He passed out. If he doesn't get air, he will die. Exactly. <sighs> exactly, that's why you can't let him go. Fuck you, Tyhoon! Haben won! I got goosebumps. Bro, my heart is racing. I got. Oh my god. I believe he's the rooster. Dude, I knew it. Monsoon was the one who beat him. This looks like he's trying to rob his sneakers, you know that? No, he's trying to loosen up the leg so he doesn't have cramps. Hey. <laughs> Remember, they, he, they kick him and everything. They don't want him to have crap or everything. Hey, you lost, brother. Don't even try it. <laughs> but yeah, he was trying to make sure his blood circulation everything is good. When the person gets knocked out, make sure the leg is working and everything. Yeah. Plus, he kicked his leg so much, he have to make sure everything is good. Yeah, look at that. You totally scared us. You were awesome. Cannot wait. It's an ad commercial. You're at What the fuck? You're promoting a product? When did, did, you, did you really just do that? <laughs> Yo, someone just said be right back going to a drugstore. <laughs> He really just promoted this whole thing after a real fight? You oh should my. get that reference. No, I know, I know the position she was sitting in. I feel like, yo, that's the same program we're using right now. What was OBS. <laughs> Three million views. Jesus. Oh yeah, remember? Oh, <laughs> 500 view on the other video, he have to do no. that bow. No, I said if I ever got the subscribers, the 100,000 subscribers. That's what we said. Oh, man. Wait, wait, what's the next episode? Are they messing with the editor? Whoa, what the hell? Goodbye. Oh, my God. <sighs> Yo, at least they end the episode. Now, let me see. Oh, skip credits. Holy crap. 
That got me. Yo, I was like, we already were watching like one episode. We watched Kaiju 8 before we watched this. We watched Remonster. We watched Go Go Loser Ranger before this episode. So it's like the next thing we got is Windbreaker, but this episode just got me even more hyper. And it's like, now we got to do Windbreaker after this. Like, bro, my heart. He almost have a heart attack. My heart is normal. It's beeping like I a was, drum. I was more invested because I was like. I was invested, but I'm, my heart is normal. I, I know, but the thing is, you saw how excited... Look, if we were to go back to the footage, we can definitely tell that I was putting more... I was getting way too too into it. Like, I was well, way I too excited. because you say I will break everyone's ears. So Wait, I, because I you, you your, your voice projects so that's much why, louder. That's why I don't do it. I'm, I'm normal, but I'm excited. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to say it like that, but at the same time... It's but like, I know that my voice goes louder than you guys. Like, hey! Yeah, because I don't... I can't project as much louder as you do, especially not even on a high pitch. I can't even do that. That's like, why I can't show my excitement. I have to show regular... My heart no, was not racing quick. His dude, heart, I was excited. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I if I made you say you can't do that. I, I'm, I wasn't. Oh no, to, no 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 no! I was just it's afraid. Okay, I was afraid. Okay. Of, I was afraid of you breaking the breaking the ears of the no, audience. No no no! I, I, I'm conscious. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. I'm conscious with the. But you should. But you should. But you should be. If you feel like you're in the moment and you're at that moment, that's oh, what you feel. You should you do it. You know when I get the moment, I forget. Shoot! I'm like, if you feel that, just just let it out, man. Don't let, don't let. That's it. why I'm like, yay! <laughs> I feel like, I, it's like it's like it's so the fans don't want to see you just be like, eh, like you want to be subtle. Like we're not here to be subtle. We're so here basically to basically. He want me to go, yeah! Yo, give it. Look, if I'm laughing at my own things, I, I know I'm laughing at myself inside because the way how I was doing, how I was talking about the choke, and I'm like, fuck, like, yeah, like I was, I, I felt like you know that moment when you're going down a roller coaster and your heart is just like, even the roller coaster, like just go. <laughs> yeah, but you know that feeling where your heart just kind of like froze for a, mi mi a microsecond. No, for... my heart never froze. You, it's not like froze, like scared, but it's like, no. <sighs> You know what? Whatever. The point is, the point I is, am strong. Yo, but did did I not say it? Did I not? Did we not say about the grapple? Surprised. I was surprised at the bicycle hold. I wasn't suspecting that. You no, not the, the bicycle. The baseball hold. Yeah, you know what? I didn't. I thought he was gonna go straight to a college joke, but when he positioned himself the way he did, um, that that to me, I already remember that was a baseball choke. We learned that back in the uh, Hensel Gracie Academy. So when I remember, I looked at that, I was like, oh shit, that's a baseball choke right there. Now, but, you know, th when we saw the, the first time he tried to use a collar choke. That like, was wrong. No, no, I know. There were, but the one thing, before he told them that your position was wrong, mm -hmm. was that he had his body up straight now. Mm -hmm. And I, you know me, I kept screaming, saying, no, 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 that's not the right way. Because here's the, look, I'm not, I'm not doing this to you, but come and face me for a bit right there, just like if you can. Like, not completely, but, like, I just want to explain something to you guys, that when you're doing a choke, okay, like, when you're grabbing here from here to here, and you're making a choke, I'm, I'm get closer to me because I'm going to, when he was in a mount position, his head was supposed to go down right there, like, near the, like, his forehead is supposed to be touching the ground as he's grabbing the inside, and then the other side is grabbing here, and then he's putting a slip position going across from each other, but he has to make sure that the first hand... I'm just telling you guys, if you guys have never done Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, um, be careful my hoodie, okay? <laughs> Look, when he comes in and he's get, grabbing me, he's going inside and he's grabbing all... No, no, but he's like, in a way, like, he's grabbing all the way from the back. Like, if it's grabbing the material from the back where my neck is while getting the other one across, don't pull the choke, but it's like, you see what I mean? And then you go, <laughs> careful, careful, <laughs> sweater, sweater, sweater. You see what I mean? Like you gotta, you gotta do that. But the thing is, your head has to go down. You're not supposed to keep your your back straight. Don't do yeah, that. The You're head is to... down. You actually block it, make blood circulation, uh, air circulation going in slowly. So when your head is down right here, while you're choking him, he have nowhere to breathe. You know what? You know what we should do next week. We should do like a sort of demonstration video on the position. You know that. But we should do it when it's not using the hoodies because we don't want to break it. Okay. But we should try that. Like get the mat on and everything. Get the camera focus and then look at the position carefully. Okay, no problem. We should try that. It's a theory. You know, it's a theory. It's I'll bring my gi. 
do that. Yeah, that's true. I have to go find my gi first. You know what? I can't even find mine, and I have it in this. I don't know where. But the point. Look, look. The point is, that was the first thing that I noticed. But then when he said the position was wrong, is because again he wasn't mounted. His knees were not. A knee has to be in both places. He has to be mounted up in a lying position. But he was in the side. Basically, you give them a bear hug, but choking their neck. Yeah, but one thing you don't do is that you don't have both of your legs on one side because the power and the strength grip is not going to equal to that, which is going to make it harder, and he can just get out of and that. And if you mount, you mount and you hit them in the stomach when you're melting. Yeah, but he again, he, he the point of the technique was that he wasn't trying to hit him in the gut. He was trying to get the grips in, go from there, and then he squeezed. Now... He did well with the baseball choke, but I'm just saying, like, he, he, he didn't think clearly. He, did, he didn't think clearly. He let his uh, excitement for, like, you know what they say, that a person who isn't calm, that has a narrow mind? No, he let it rush without think carefully. True, and that's what he said. Like, it doesn't always <sighs> affect his opponents. It could affect you, too, if you don't concentrate correctly. That's correct. So, as us, as martial artists, we are aware and we know how the proper technique is supposed to happen. Trust me, the guy actually, to. when I was learning, the guy actually had to wrap my neck on my, grab my G and wrap me around three times in order to make me tap because I didn't tap and it didn't affect me that much. Yeah, like I said. Until I felt it and then I'm like, okay. But it took at least 30 or 40, 30 to 35 minutes before I feel like. Oh, wait, you had a round that lasted that long? He okay. tried to make me tap, but... Yeah, but usually rounds and things like that It was last practicing that and we were learning. Yeah, but usually in these kind of jiu-jitsu things, they usually switch after five minutes and then go to another opponent. That's how it always works. Oh, it was split. Everyone had their own area to practice with a partner. Yeah, but I figured <sighs> that five minutes, you switch to a new partner, get them fresh, do different technique. No, no, but, yeah, yeah, but the class was like five hours. Five hours? Yeah. Jesus. That's I awesome. learned so much. They were surprised that I actually jumped on top of a man who's twice as big as me, and I pinned them down. Yeah, that yeah. I just did reflex. Whoosh, yeah, I spin my whole body. And they were like, "Oh!" I mean, the whole point of Brazilian. I got them on the turtle and all that stuff. I mean, the whole point of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is using the opponent's momentum. I even learned them. how to grab their hand and just make them bow. Make them bow. Yeah, imagine if you grab my shirt like this. I just grab and then just go like that, and I make you bow, and I just control you like this. I can't do nothing much because I'm gripping oh. more pressure and aim. See? I get it, dude. I get it. I know because I. But like they I say, to, if was, someone grab you. But I was trying to understand the reference grab. you were telling me, so it's like basically what, but, you but, just bow. No, no, no. I know because they taught me this in college, and I started using that technique at a bunch of people. But it was a bit of a disadvantage since I was the only one in that class who actually knew who had proper technique and skill. Uh. So learning skills like that. Oh man, did that that mess them up? Because they try to grab. I haven't learned like, how to do grip. pressure point on the neck. On the behind the ear, but oh yeah, that's gonna suck. That would really suck. I know how to do it, and people get mad. I'm like, no, you fought with me. I'm a peace, a peaceful person. But once you awaken the tiger, the lion, whatever's inside, even the Godzilla inside me, you better run Ka or the demon. Kaiju, just say kaiju, <laughs> but no, I mean, anything. This is why this is why I like having him as my co-host because he makes things really interesting, especially from his perspective. Trust me, when I was young, my father made me box my little brother. And we were wearing boxing gloves and we were killing each other. <laughs> no. I know. I think that's cool. At least you had like a sibling to practice with. No, also, we actually tried to kill each other. Either way, that brings a bit of form of excitement when you think about <clears> it. So my uncle and my father, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we would go boxing. <laughs> it was fun. I grew up in a weird situation. But I no, it definitely, so it definitely sounds fun. It definitely sounds fun. All right, guys, we want to thank you so much for checking us out and like Hobbin, but this time it's our channel. Do us a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button below. Hit the bell and for the notification. Sweat, just spray. <laughs> uh, right now we need sponsors. We can't pull it. I thought that, I thought that was, that, was that, threw weird. Me off, that threw me off for a minute. I was like, like a, wondering where like, did you got the spray? I'm thinking where did the music come in in the beginning? And I'm like, oh, my God. It was behind the background on the toy. I'm still trying to figure out how do bathroom have a, a, a screen of a sponsor right there. Um, I'm sure though the stall was pretty distant from what it looked like. Well, it's Japan. It's different from the United no, States. No, that in the, no, this is Korea in this case. This is Korea. Then Korea is different than Japan and the United States. You have never saw a stall that have commercial on the wall. Actually, I do see it in live action and drama. Never mind. Now I'm thinking. <laughs> Guys, thank you. We love you so much. And like I said, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications so that you can support our channel. Uh, other than that, we got to bid you all adieu. Au revoir. 
Say goodbye and good night. Bang! Bang! You, you, you.